In the year 1817, Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner, a German chemist, tried to arrange the elements with similar properties into groups. He identified some groups having three elements each. So he called these groups triads. Dobereiner showed that when the three elements in a triad were written in the order of increasing atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements. For example, take the triad consisting of lithium Li, sodium Na and potassium K with the respective atomic masses 6.9, 23.0 and 39.0. Here are some groups of three elements. These elements are arranged downwards in order of increasing atomic masses. Here, groups B and C form Dobereiner triads. One of the limitations of this classification was that Dobereiner could identify only three triads from elements known at that time. Hence, this system of classification into triads was not found to be useful. The attempts of Dobereiner encouraged other chemists to correlate the properties of elements with their atomic masses. In 1866, John Newlands, an English scientist, arranged the then-known elements in the order of increasing atomic masses. He started with the element having the lowest atomic mass, hydrogen, and ended at thorium, which was the 56th element. He found that every eighth element had properties similar to that of the first. He compared this to the octaves found in music. Therefore, he called it the law of octaves. It is known as Newland's law of octaves. In Newland's octaves, the properties of lithium and sodium were found to be the same. Sodium is the eighth element after lithium. Similarly, beryllium and magnesium resemble each other. Some key points regarding Newland's law of octaves are It was found that the law of octaves was applicable only up to calcium. As after calcium, every eighth element did not possess properties similar to that of the first. It was assumed by Newland's that only 56 elements existed in nature and no more elements would be discovered in the future. But later on, several new elements were discovered whose properties did not fit into the law of octaves. In order to fit elements into his table, Newlands adjusted two elements in the same slot but also put some unlike elements under the same node. If you look at this table, you will find that cobalt and nickel are in the same slot and these are placed in the same column as fluorine, chlorine and bromine which have very different properties than these elements. Iron which resembles cobalt and nickel in properties has been placed far away from these elements. Thus, Newland's law of octaves worked well with lighter elements only. Even after the rejection of Newland's law of octaves,
many scientists continued to search for a pattern that correlated the properties of elements with their atomic masses. The main credit for classifying elements goes to Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, a Russian chemist. He was the most important contributor to the early development of a periodic table of elements wherein the elements were arranged on the basis of their fundamental property, the atomic mass, and also on the similarity of chemical properties. When Mendeleev started his work, 63 elements were known. He examined the relationship between the atomic masses of the elements and their physical and chemical properties. Among chemical properties, Mendeleev concentrated on the compounds formed by elements with oxygen and hydrogen. He selected hydrogen and oxygen as they are very reactive and form compounds with most elements. The formulae of the hydrides and oxides formed by an element were treated as one of the basic properties of an element for its classification. He then took 63 cards and on each card he wrote down the properties of one element. He sorted out the elements with similar properties and pinned the cards together on a wall. He observed that most of the elements got a place in a periodic table and were arranged in the order of their increasing atomic masses. It was also observed that there occurs a periodic recurrence of elements with similar physical and chemical properties. On this basis, Mendeley formulated a periodic law which states that the properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. Mendeleev's periodic table contains vertical columns called groups and horizontal rows called periods. While developing the periodic table, there were a few instances where Mendeleev had to place an element with a slightly greater atomic mass before an element with a slightly lower atomic mass. The sequence was inverted so that elements with similar properties could be grouped together. For example, cobalt atomic mass 58.9 appeared before nickel atomic mass 58.7. Further, Mendeleev left some gaps in his periodic table. Instead of looking upon these gaps as defects, Mendeleev boldly predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time. Mendeleev named them by prefixing a Sanskrit numeral, Eka, 1, to the name of preceding element in the same group. For instance, Scandium, Gallium and Germanium, discovered later, have properties similar to Eka Boron, Eka Aluminium and Eka Silicon, respectively. The properties of Eka Aluminium, predicted by Mendeleev, and those of the element Gallium, which was discovered later and replaced Eka Aluminium, are listed as follows. This provided convincing evidence for both the correctness and usefulness of Mendeleev's periodic table. Further, it was the extraordinary success of Mendeleev's prediction that led chemists not only to accept his periodic table, but also recognize him as the originator of the concept on which it is based. Noble gases like helium, HE, neon, NE, and argon, AR, have been mentioned in many a context before this. These gases were discovered very late because they are very inert and present in extremely low concentrations in our atmosphere. 
one of the strengths of Mendeleev's periodic table was that when these gases were discovered, they could be placed in a new group without disturbing the existing order. Electronic configuration of hydrogen resembles that of alkali metals. Like alkali metals, hydrogen combines with halogens, oxygen and sulfur to form compounds having similar formulae as shown in the examples here. On the other hand, just like halogens, hydrogen also exists as diatomic molecules and it combines with metals and non-metals to form covalent compounds. Certainly, no fixed position can be given to hydrogen in the periodic table. This was the first limitation of Mendeleev's periodic table. He could not assign a correct position to hydrogen in his table. Isotopes were discovered long after Mendeleev had proposed his periodic classification of elements. Let us recall that isotopes of an element have similar chemical properties but different atomic masses. Thus, isotopes of all elements posed a challenge to Mendeleev's periodic law. Another problem was that the atomic masses do not increase in a regular manner in going from one element to the next. So it was not possible to predict how many elements could be discovered between two elements, especially when we consider the heavier elements.